Mode set. Executing. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, CDROM1019. Welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island, uh, Rise of the Pirate God. Okay, so we're getting somewhere, I guess. We've got the lock. We know where the locket is. We know how to use it. We know our body's still available. We just can't stay in our body for too long. But what is this deodorant for? Luckily, my spiritual essence smells of lavender and honey. I don't know if that's going to be useful at all, but I wonder. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. Press the button again. Do you mind pressing the button again? Certainly, sir. Hey, how'd my body get back here? We came to check on you and found it just laying around. We figured you were dead again, so we just put you back here. But it looks like you're acting up again. Ready for another round, zombie boy? So, I think the only way I'm going to get that gum is if I get some help by a th from a thug that belongs in jail. Um, Bring it on, bug juice. Problem is... Yeah. That's an issue. So soon, sir. Ooh, yeah. Maybe I should try a different approach. Let's try an approach of the ghostly kind. So, let's take this back to the sword fighting. Sword fight. And into the rip. Hi everyone, I'm back. I be trying to concentrate here. Hey, bug eye. What do you want, Pipsqueak? Uh, ooh, I'm a ghost. Ooh, I'm a ghost. Aren't you guys scared of me? Well, you weren't very threatening while you were alive, and I'm afraid the new pirate ghost thing isn't helping. How? Seriously? Wait. How did you get out of the? No, you already to told me out. I said I don't want to talk about it. No, no, let me guess. Uh... You dressed up like a throat grub and snuck out through the blowhole? Manatees don't have blowholes. Plus, that's really stupid. Now leave me alone. Hmm, he seems touchy about that. Oh, bug eye. What do you want, pipsqueak? How'd you get out? Come on, how did you get out of the manatee and end up on Flotsam? I really do not want to talk about it. I'm gonna go ahead and guess. Uh, ignited the gases. You ignited the gases in the stomach, which resulted in a catastrophic explosion, destroying everything within a 25-mile radius? And yet, here I am, without a scratch on me. So was I right? You're an idiot. Uh... Yo, bug eye. What do you want, pipsqueak? You gotta tell me how you got out of the manatee and ended up on Flotsam. What part of don't want to talk about it didn't you understand? I bet I can guess. Uh... You took the gross out subway again, didn't you? Wrong. Now buzz off. Do I can't just have to keep oh, asking him? What do you want, Pipsqueak? Uh. Mm. Yep. No, no. Let me guess. I I already said all three y'all already. Dressed up like a throat grub and snuck out through the blowhole. Manatees don't have blowholes. Plus, that's really stupid. Now leave me alone. Uh huh. Let's see. <sighs> hmm. Guess this isn't working somehow. He doesn't want to talk about how he got out of the manatee. So that's a clue, but... Guess we just don't have enough information to go on. I kind of hate the back and forth of this, but there might have been a clue in that jail cell. Which means we're going to have to go all the way back and reclaim our body again. Here we go. Uh, 
Winslow. All right, Winslow, push the button. Winslow? Yes, sir. Would you mind pressing the button again? Certainly, sir. Back for another round, zombie boy. I surrender. I surrender. You do? Terrific. Off to jail with you. You there. I'll be back shortly. I'm taking this body to the jail. Sure. The ladies come calling. I'll tell them that's where you went. Hmm. That brick does seem a little obvious. Let's see. Hey. Somebody stashed something behind this loose brick. It's a diary. Dear diary. Well, I am in jail. Apparently, I misunderstood when the mer person I met asked if I needed a lift. I assumed that meant I could ride them all the way into town. Anyway, I'm hiding you for now in case they search me. I don't want anyone knowing my personal inner thoughts. Hmm. What else is in here? Dear diary, I think that any moment now the manatees will start kissing. I hope I can slip mm -mm. out just as he slips the tongue. Ew. I think I've read enough. Okay, no comment, but that uh, at least gives me a lead. I'm not grabbing that with my hook. It'll tarnish it. Because I'm stuck here until this wears off. <laughs> Come on. Uh-oh. I feel a depossession coming on. Uh oh, I'm losing possession of my body again. Welcome back, sir. Thank you. Bye. Okay, back to the sword fight. <clears throat> and into the rip. Okay. Uh, hey, Bug Eye. Yo, Bug Eye. What do you want, Pipsqueak? So, how did you get out of the manatee and end up on Flotsam? I don't want to talk about it. I'm going to go ahead and guess. Uh, you slipped out on the tongue? Hmm, perhaps you waited around until the mating ritual, made your way to the tongue, and escaped when the manatee went in for the kiss. Hey, who told you that? That's private information. And once free from the manatee, you... Uh, rode a mer person to Flotsam? Befriended a mer person who you ended up riding all the way to the shores of Flotsam. That's impossible! No one knows about that! Look at me! I'm Bug Eye. I like to get in on manatee makeout sessions and ride merfolk around. Are you mocking me, boy? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Let's give him the bugged out tweaking. No, he's doing tweaking. Well, uh, lazy eyed. Arr! Does it look like I'm mocking you? Arr. Well, I guess not. You're just really ugly. Oh, okay. I guess I needed to give him the same okay. pace. What do you want? I mis squeak. I misinterpreted that. Seriously, how did you get out of the manatee and end up on Flotsam? I said I don't want to talk about it. Look at me! I'm Bug Eye. I like to get in on manatee makeout sessions and ride merfolk around. Are you mocking me, boy? Let's see, he's tweaking. No, he's tweaking. Nope. Meanie. Arr, does it look like I'm mocking you? I'm Big Bad Bug Eye. I keep a girly diary. I wish I had hair so I could put it up in curls. Let's just see how that face looks with my fist shoved in it. Oof. Uh-oh. All right, that's enough. I think you need some time to calm down, lad. It's off to the drunk tank for you. 
And you, don't slime up the place while I'm gone. I'll just leave him there until he cools off. All right, well, now that there's a, uh, a cell that's taken up, Let's go see if we can enter the correct cell this time. Oop. Which of course means going to get our body repossessed. In the tear. <laughs> Mr. Winslow, the button, please. Would you mind pressing the button again? Certainly, sir. I'm back! Hold your ground or I'll take you down myself! Ghosts are one thing, but I really hate zombies! I surrender. I surrender! You do? <coughs> Terrific! Off to jail with you! Bug guy. We're neighbors! Shut your cheese hole, zombie boy. You're the reason I'm in here, you know. Alright, alright, I'll keep it down. Okay, let's not waste any time. Let's the check this out. Looks pretty fresh. Hmm. Dust, spit, and just a hint of lavender. Otherwise, it's completely tasteless. I must be the wrong one. Oh boy. Uh. Okay. I can't believe I'm actually about to do this. Oh, disgusting. It tastes like earwax. Nope, that didn't do anything. Guess that wasn't the spirit gum. Uh, let's see. I kind of need to figure out which ones, which ones this is. This isn't spirit gum. This tastes like cat litter. Uh, well, this is a problem. There's a mug here. Free Guybrush Threepwood. Free Skyburst <laughs> Streetwood! No new taxes! Down with porcelain! Hey, lay off the banging or I'm gonna shove that mug up your blowhole! Free Guybrush Streetwood! Free Guybrush Streetwood! Oh, this just isn't the same. Uh oh. My body is starting to feel all numb and tingly. I wonder if that's a bad sign. Well, I might need a little more help here. The gum is supposed to have ghostly properties, which means I might need some root beer. Come back, sir. You know, every time I pass out in the jail, they haul my body back to the bar and redecorate it. You think I should go back as a ghost and check on my body? Hmm. Yeah. Who knows what strange party favors they'll dress my body up in next. Thanks for the advice, Mr. Winslow. Certainly, sir. All right. Mr. Winslow? Well, let's go back. Yes, Would you mind pressing the button again? Certainly, sir. I think that's supposed to be a clue that I can go back there and check if I have the mug, but I'm pretty sure... But I have the mug. Nice. I'm back. Hold your ground or I'll take you down myself. Ghosts are one thing, but I really hate zombies. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? That, uh... Yeah, you know, I didn't think that out. Um... I'm Guybrush Streetwood. I mean to kill you all. <laughs> Damn, son. Ouch. Back, sir. All right. So I, I, man, this back and forth is awful. So now that I have the mug there, now that they've decorated my body with a mug, now I have to uh, mess with the WP while he's throwing darts to get the uh, 
the the root beer to <laughs> spill into the cup again. Um, so here we go. All right, good. There's the mug. Hey, WP. Hold on a tick. I've almost got my stroke back. Boo. Ooh, I'm a scary ghost. Uh. Yeah, uh, quit that. You aren't scary. You just screwed up my concentration. Perfect. All right, body's got what it needs. Okay. <laughs> Back down to the gate. Mr. Winslow, Mr. push Winslow? the button. Yes, sir. Would you mind pressing the button again? Certainly, sir. Nice. I'm back. Hold your ground or I'll take you down myself. Ghosts are one thing, but I really hate zombies. I surrender. I surrender. Yeah, you do. Terrific! Off to jail with you. Okay. Let's use this root beer on some of this gum. Let's see how spirit gum reacts to a little root beer. Ooh, that brings back unpleasant memories. There we go. We found it. Oh. Hey, now this is delicious and tingly. And hey, keep it down over there. Whoa. Now that is spirit gum. All right, we seem to be good here. Hey, look at that. A gaping round hole in the wall. The voodoo lady must have escaped through this. Convenient. Yeah, Shawshank Redemption. All right. All right, corpse Bye. Body. Let's go get that cutlass of Kaflu, save Elaine, and take down the Chuck once and for all. Hey, don't you leave me here. Come on, at least give me some gum. I don't think you want any of this, buddy. Ha-ha! I'm back, LeChuck. Now that I have my root beer proof and only slightly rotting body again, I can touch anything I want. So get ready to be touched. To death! Sharp, pointy death. Finally! Ouch! How bitch you that stings! <laughs> Do you think I'm some kind of dolt, Freepwood? Dolt? This sword now has enough demonic power in it to bring down a god. Did you think we'd let you get your mortal hands on it? Seriously, who uses the word dolt anymore? With just one swipe, that sword could completely obliterate your body. I do wish you hadn't made such a pest of yourself. I wanted you alive to see me marry Elaine. I've told you a million times, LeChuck. I'm already Till married to- death dead. do you part, Freepwood. And that part has already been taken care of. Elaine, my dear, please dispose of this irritating corpse. With pleasure. Uh... Um, Elaine, dear. Sweetie, stop! It's me! What? Hey, Winslow! Yes, sir. I found the map! Mr. Winslow! How dare you! I have a wedding ceremony to plan, a dress to pick out, a reception to arrange, and some bridesmaids to slaughter. I don't have time for this. 
This is awfully convenient. smaller smaller I've got to shrink that sponge <laughs> this is marvelous you really think you still have a chance go ahead give it your best shot I'll even give you a head start just know this there is nowhere you can go where I cannot find you <laughs> well listen up sponge it's time you lost some weight I still have my Feast of the Senses spell in my body. I just need to find someone who can help me reverse it. Hmm. Sounds like I've still got some more work to do. Uh... Can't just go through that rip. So now that I've got my body back, I'm just curious. What happens if I go... Is Morgan still up there? wonder if I can talk to her about this. Morgan's not here. Why is the sword here? Huh, that's unfortunate. I'm here now. Hey, WP. Hold on a tick. I've almost got my stroke back. Um. So, are you hiding the voodoo lady? Are you hiding the voodoo lady? Absolutely not. That witch is nothing but trouble with a capital T, and that rhymes with V, and that stands for voodoo. Give me a drink. Give me a drink, grind stump. I'm afraid your bar privileges expired when you did Threefwood. In your next life, try to settle your debts before you get killed, hmm? Hmm, that stinks. Talk to you later. Is it possible for me to leave this place? Hold on, Threefwood. The Chuck may still be out there somewhere, waiting to skewer us all. Until this crisis blows over, the only safe places on Flotsam Island are my club and my jails! Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so there's nothing good happening there. I wonder if there's anything going on in the, uh, in the thieves' den. Welcome back, friend. Oh, it's just you. Is there no tear here? Doesn't look at. Hmm. Excuse me. What is it, friend? There's something, uh. Ooh, where? Oh, I can't talk to him that much. Okay. Yeah, I'm just. I don't see I'm just gonna go. Good luck with the pilfering. I gotta go. Come back soon, friend. Hmm. And the treasure hunt. Kind of forgot where this led me. Oh, over here. Ah, that's right. I can move around now. Whoa, Nelly. Spirit binding must be messing with my head. Hello, Guybrush. Huh. You can do that too? I'm sorry, but I must still conceal my whereabouts and communicate through the vessels of nature's works. You picked a dead seagull? A perfect place to go unnoticed. I can't help but think the advantages of flight could be more useful. Um. I need to deal with the so sponge. I need to shrink the sponge. I have the feast of the senses, but I don't want to make it any bigger. <clears throat> the opposite, in fact. I'm sorry. I didn't take Voodoo Spell Reversals 201 at Hexer's Community College. 
Well then, Guybrush. Yes? Ask around. <sighs> okay. What the heck am I, anyway? I feel one step removed from a zombie. You are no stranger to the reanimation of corpses. You are now familiar with a form that LeChuck has known so well. So, you're saying I'm a zombie? Defining such states is folly in the realm of voodoo. I'm a zombie. If you insist. Mm -mm. A dead seagull, really? I'm having a hard time getting over this dead seagull thing. You must realize that oftentimes in life, it is not where the message comes from, but the message itself. But it's gross. Hmm. Elaine's a demon bride. I'm sure you've heard by now, but Elaine is a demon bride of LeChuck. Your wife's ways are her own, her fate compelled by unknown forces. Yeah, she's a bit of a loose cannon. For once, I agree with you, Treepwood. Aside from joining my archenemy, I generally appreciate the sass. Be careful, Guybrush. You must make your own choices, for Elaine does not trust in the ways of voodoo. Um, okay. Your ways of voodoo have really done a number on me lately. The ebb and flow of the tides of our suffering cannot be controlled. Why are you doing this to me? What did I do to chap your hide? I am not your enemy, Treepwood. In fact, I have most likely saved you from yourself. Right. Tell that to my shambling mess of a body here. Uh, LeChuck's pretty angry at you. Since LeChuck got a hold of your diary, he's really had it in for you. The dread pirate LeChuck is not one for nuances. You know this guy, Brush. Back on Flotsam, though, he seemed pretty convinced you were evil. What else happened back on Flotsam? Did he not slaughter you and your friend Morgan the Flay in cold blood? LeChuck is mad as usual. I do not blame him for his anger towards me, or towards you. It is expected and beyond his control. You're saying LeChuck is just being LeChuck? Yes. Okay. Why can't Morgan use the rips? I have a semi-voodoo related question. How come when I opened the crossroads, I could pass through, but Morgan couldn't? Maybe you still have some connection to the physical world that you are clinging to. You mean my shred of life? Then that means LeChuck kept a shred of life when he died too. Perhaps. Who is to say if the shred was his own? Is there anything else I should know about being a zombie? Are you flush with zombie advice? Your true form is not lost. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. But such powerful reanimation is outside of the realm of voodoo. It requires something much more rare. Uh... Arpaccio? Hmm. But I'm afraid I don't know either. The spirit must be compelled to reconstitute itself. That is all I can share. And I should believe any of this. Why? Any of this. Fine. You don't have to. I'll be going then. Whoa, whoa. You don't have to go. I have said all I can at this time. Good luck, Guybrush. Do not let the forces of ill will or the ignorance of others knock you from your path. Wait! I believe you! Ah, man. Hmm. Okay, so we need to do the opposite of uh, the feast for the... Oh, what a surprise. It's locked. For uh, a la spongia. Or la, la spongia. Can I unlock this chest? Looks like somebody was on their way to a LeChuck dress-up contest. Treepwood! Yeah! What? Stop doing that! In there, you will find some of the things that allowed LeChuck to get so close to your beloved Elaine. What? I don't think I want to look in there anymore. LeChuck's human form was most impressive. But we can all use the help of voodoo from time to time. I think I'm set in the voodoo department. If it's trust you seek, LeChuck's belt should do nicely. Don't you find it strange that LeChuck left this stuff out here in the open? I think he'd want to get rid of it. LeChuck is careless. The dead bird is not helping me trust her more. Hmm. What is that? Charming belt buckle. It's the belt buckle that Chuck wore when he was human. Funny how a smiling face always seems trustworthy, even on a skull. All right. I think we're getting close to the end, but there's a little 
more that we need to figure out here. All right, we're going to figure this out on the next episode. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun. And don't forget to subscribe and follow twitch.tv slash chaos control channel. And I'll see you folks next week. So take care. Bye-bye.